Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Let us speak to us today. Let us speak to those that are in despair and, and need some direction. Let us speak to me, Lord. You know where my heart is at. Let your words speak to me this morning. In Jesus' name. Now it happened when Sambalat, Tobiah, Geshem the Arab. This is Nehemiah 6. Excuse me, Nehemiah 6. Now it happened when Sambalat, Tobiah, Jashem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there were no breaks left in it, though at the time I had not hung the doors in the gates. The Sambalat and Jashem, Geshem sent to me saying, Come let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them saying, I am doing a great work, so I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave and leave it and go down to you? But they sent me this message four times, and I answered them in the same manner. Then Sambalop sent his servant to me before the fifth time with an open letter in his hand, and it was written. It is reported among the nations, and Geshem says, that you and the Jews plan to rebel. Therefore, according to these rumors, you are rebuilding the wall, that you may be their king. And you have also appointed prophets to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah. Now these matters will be reported to the king. So come, therefore, and let us consult together. Then I sent to him, saying, No such thing as you say are being done. But... You invent them in your own heart, for they are well in, for they are all, for they all were trying to make us afraid, saying, Their hands will be weakened in the work, and it will be done. Now, therefore, God, strengthen my hands. Afterward, I came to the house. Of Shammai, the son of Deliah, the son of Meherabel, who was a secret informer. And he said, let us meet together in the house of God with the temple. And let us close the doors of the temple, for they are coming to kill you. Indeed, at night they will come to kill you. And I said, should such a man as I flee? And who is there such that I should, as I should go, would go into the temple to save my life? I will not go in. Then I perceived that God had not sent him at all, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobiah and Sambalat had hired him. For this reason he was hired, that I should be afraid and act that way in sin, so that they might have cause for an evil report, that they might reproach me. My God, remember Tobiah and Sambalat, according to these wor their works, and the prophetess Noad, Noadiah and the rest of the prophets who would have made me afraid. So the war was finished on the 20th and the 25th day of Elul in, the, in 52 days. And it happened when all our enemies heard it and all the nations around us saw these things that they were very disheartened in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was done by God. Also in those days, the nobles of Judah sent many letters to Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came to them. For many of Judah were pledged to him, because he was the son-in-law of Shechaniah, the son of Ara, and his son Jeho Jehohanan had married the daughter of Meshulam, the son of Berechiah. Also they reported his good deeds before me and reported my words to him. Tobiah sent letters to frighten me. Nehemiah chapter 7. Then it was when the wall was built and I had hung the doors, when the gatekeepers, the singers, and the Levites had been appointed, that I gave the charge of Jerusalem to my brother Hanani. And Hanani, the leader of the citadel, 
for he was a faithful man and feared God more than many. And I said to them, do not let the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun is hot. And while they stand guard, let them shut and bar the doors and appoint guards for among the inhabitants of Jerusalem, one at his watch station and another in front of his house. Now the city was large and spacious, but the people in it were few, and the houses were not rebuilt. Then my God put it into my heart to gather the, the nobles of the rulers Then my God put it into my heart to gather the nobles, the rulers, and the people, that they might be regist registered by genealogy. And I found a register of the genealogy of those who had come up from the first return and found written in it. These are the people of the providence who came back to, from captivity, of those who had been carried away, whom ne Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away, and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, everyone to his own city. Those who came with Zerubbabel was Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Ramia, Nahmani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispereth, Bigvi, Nahum, and Bena. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the sons of Parash, 2,172. The sons of Shephatiah, 372. The sons of Ara, 652. The sons of Pahath Moab, the, of the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The sons of Elam, 1,254. The sons of Zatu, 845. The sons of Sagai, 760. The sons of Benui, 648. The sons of Babai, 628. The sons of Asgad, 2,322. The sons of Aronikam, 667. The sons of Bigvai, 2,067. The sons of Adon, 655. The sons of Adder, of Hezekiah, 98. The sons of Hashem, 328. The sons of Bezai, 324. The sons of Harif, 112. The sons of Gibeon, 95. Now, the men of Bethlehem and Nerophah, 188, the men of Anatoth, 128, the men of Beth Asmaveth, 42, the men of Kirjath, Jerim, she Shafira, and Biroth, 740 and 43, the men of Rama and Giba, 621, the men of Mikmas, 122, the men of Beth Bethal and Ai, uh, 123, the men of the other Nebo, 52, the sons of the other Elam, 1,254, the sons of Haram, uh, 320, the sons of Jericho, 345, the sons of Lad, Hadid, and Ono, 721, the sons of Shina, of Sinaiah, uh, 3,930, the priests and the sons of Jedariah of the house of Jeshua, 973. The sons of Emer, 1,052. The sons of Pashur, 1,247. The sons of Harem, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua of Kadmiel, and the sons of Hudeva, 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph. 148, the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Atar, the sons of Talmud, the, son of, the sons of Jacob, the sons of Hatira, and the sons of Shabai, 138, the Nethanim, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hasufa, the sons of Tabawath, 
the sons of Keros, the sons of Sia, the sons of Paran, the sons of Labana, the sons of Hagara, the sons of Salmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gidol, the sons of Gahar, the sons of Rea, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nekoda, the sons of Gazem, the sons of Uzzah, the sons of Pasea, the sons of Besai, the sons of Meunim, the sons of Nephishesim, Nephishesim, the sons of Babkuk, the sons of Hakufa, the sons of Harhur, the sons of Bazlif, the sons of Mehida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tamara, the sons of Neziah, the sons of Hatifa, the sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Sophereth, the sons of Perida, the sons of Jaela, the sons of Darkan, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shephatiah, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pochereth, the Zabayim, and the sons of Ammon, all the Netherim, and the sons of Solomon's servants were 392. And these were the ones who came up from Telmelatel, Harshad, Sherub, Adon, and Emer, but they could not identify their father's house nor their lineage. Whether they were is of Israel, so the sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, the sons of Nicodemus, six hundred and forty-two, the sons of priests, and of the priests, and the sons of Habai, and the sons of Koz, the sons of Berzilai, who took a wife with daughters of Barzilai, the Gileada, and was called by their name. These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore. They were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. And the governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things till the priest could consult with the Urim and, and Thummim. Altogether, those who, uh, the whole assembly was 42,000. and sixty. Besides the male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337. 7, and they had 245 men and women singers. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, and donkeys 6,720. And some of the heads of the father's houses gave to the work. The governor gave to the treasury 1,000 gold drachmas, 50 basins, and 530 priestly garments. Some of the heads of the father's houses gave to the treasury of the work 20,000 drachmas, 2,200 silver minas, and that which is the rest of the people gave was 20,000 gold drachmas, 20,000 silver minas, and 67 priestly garments. So the priests and Levites and the gatekeepers and singers, some of the people, the Nithinim and all of Israel dwelt in their cities. When the seventh month came, the children of Israel were in their cities. Nehemiah chapter 8. Now all the people gathered together as one man in the open square that was in front of the water gate. And they told Ezra, the scribe, to bring the book of the law of Moses, which, is, which the Lord had commanded Israel. So Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly of men and women, and all who could hear with understanding on the first day of the seventh month. Then he heard from it an open square that was in front of the water gate from morning until midday, before the men and women and those who could understand, and the ears and all the people were attentive to the book of the law. So Ezra the scribe stood on the platform which uh, of wood, which he made, from for the purpose, and beside him at his right hand stood Mattathiah, 
Shema Anaya, Uriza, Helkia, and Maya And at his left hand, Pediah, Mishael, Malkija, Hashem, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam. As Ezra opened the book in the sight of the, all the people, for he was standing above the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up, and Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. Then all the people answered, Amen, Amen, while lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Also, Jeshua, Bani, Jeshariah, Jamin, Akbud, Shabbatiah, Hobariah, Maaseiah, Kalida, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites helped the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. So they read distinctively from the book in the law of God, and they gave the sense and helped them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah was who was the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who taught the people said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Be still, for this day is holy. Do not be grieved. And all the people went their way to eat and drink and to send portions and rejoice greatly, because they understood the words that were declared to them. Now on the second day, the heads of the fathers' houses of all the people with the priests and Levites were gathered to Ezra the scribe in order to understand the words of the law. And they found written in the law, which the Lord had commanded by Moses, that the children of Israel should dwell in booths during the feast of the seventh month, and that they should announce and proclaim in all the cities in Jerusalem, saying, Go out to the mountain and bring olive branches, branches of oil trees, myrtle branches, palm branches, and branches of leafy trees to make booths, as it is written. Then the people went out and bought, brought them and made themselves booths, each one on the roof of his house, or in the courtyards, or in the courts of the house of God, and in the open square of the water gate, and in the open square of the gate of Ephraim. So the whole assembly of of those who had returned from the captivity made booths and sat under the booths, for since the days of Joshua, the son of Nun, until that day the children of Israel had not done, the, done this. And there was a very great gladness. Also day by day, from the first day until the last day, he read from the book of the law of God, and they kept the feast seven days. And on the eighth day there was a sacred assembly according to the prescribed manner. Nehemiah chapter 9. Now on the 24th day of, of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting in sackcloth and with dust on their heads. And then those of Israelite lineage separated themselves from all the foreigners, and they stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law. And they stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord, their God, for one-fourth of the day. And for another fourth they confessed and worshipped the Lord God. Then Jeshua, Bani, Kadmiel, Shebaniah, Buni, Sherebiah, Bani, and Shenani stood on the stairs of the Levites and cried out with a loud voice to the Lord, their God. And the Levites, Joshua, 
Kadmio Bani Hashabnaya, Sherbaya Hodija, Shebaniya, and Pethathiah, Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God forever and ever. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all. Blessing and praise. You alone are Lord. You have made the heaven. You have made the heavens with all their hosts, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord who chose Abram, who brought him out of Ur, out of the Chaldeans, and gave him the name Abraham. You found in his heart faithful before you, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, and the Girgashites to give it to his descendants. You have performed your words, for you are righteous. You saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry by, by the Red Sea. You show signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his servants, against all the people of, this, of his land. For you knew that they acted proudly against them. So you made a name for yourself, and it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them, so that they went through in the midst of the sea on dry land. And their persecutors you threw into the deep, as a stone into mighty waters. Whom, moreover, you led them by day with a cloudy pillar, and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the road which they should travel. You came down also on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them just ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments. You made known to them the Holy Sabbath and commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses, your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and you brought them water out of the rock from their for their thirst and told them to go into possess the land which you had sworn to give them but they and our fathers acted proudly hard in their necks and did not heed your commandments they refused to obey and they were not mindful of your wonders that you did among them but they hardened their necks and in their rebellion they appointed a leader to return to their bondage but you are God, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, and did not forsake them. Even when they made a molded calf for themselves and said, this is your God that brought you out of Egypt and were great provocations, yet in your manifold mercies you did not forsake them in the wilderness, the pillar of the cloud did not depart from them day by day the, to lead them on the road, nor the pillar of fire by night to show them light. And the way they go and the way they should go. You also gave your good spirit to instruct them and did not withhold your manna from their mouth and gave them water for the thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out and their feet did not swell. Moreover, you gave them kingdoms and nations and divided them into districts, so they took possession of the land of Sihon, of Sihon, the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. You also multiplied the children as the stars in heaven and brought them into the land which you had told their fathers to go in and possess. So the people went in and possessed the land. You subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their, into their hands with their kings and all the people of the land that they might do with them as they wished. And they took strong cities and a rich land and possessed houses full of all goods, 
cisterns are really dug, vineyards, olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate and were filled and grew fat and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you, cast your law behind their backs and killed your prophets who testified against them to turn them to yourself. And they worked great provocations. Therefore, you delivered them into the hand of the enemies who oppressed them. And then their time of their trouble, when they cried out to you, you heard from heaven. And according to your abundant mercies, you gave them the you gave them deliverers who saved them from the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they again did evil before you. Therefore, you left them in the hand of your of their enemies, so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried out to you, you heard from heaven, and many times you delivered them according to your mercies, and testified against them, and that you might bring them back to your law. Yet they acted proudly and did not heed your commandments, but sinned against your judgments, which is which, if a man does, he shall live by them. And they shrugged their shoulders, stiffened their necks, and would not hear. Yet for many years you had the patience with them and testified against them by your spirit and your prophets. Yet they would not listen. Therefore, you gave them to the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your great mercy, you did not utterly consume them nor forsake them. But you are, you are God and gracious and merciful. Now, therefore, our God, the great and mighty and awesome God, who keeps covenant and mercy, do not let all the trouble seem small before you that has come upon us, our kings and princes, our priests and our prophets, our fathers and all your people, from the days of the kings of Assyria until this day. However, you are just in all that has been befallen us, for you have dealt faithfully, but we have done wickedly. Neither our kings, nor our princes, our priests, nor our fathers have kept your law, nor heeded your commandments and your testimonies with which you testified against them. For they have not served you in their kingdom or in the many good things that you have them. Or in the large and rich land which you set before them, nor have they, had, they turned from their wicked works. Here we are, servants today, and the land that you gave to our fathers to eat its fruit and its bounty, here we are, servants in it. And it yields, and it yields much increase to the kings you have set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies and our cattle and their at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. And because of all this, we make sure we make a short covenant and write it. Our leaders, our Levites, and our priests seal it. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah chapter 10. Now those who placed their seal in the document were Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hakaliah and Zedekiah, Zariah, Zariah, Jeremiah, Pashur, and Mariah, Malkija Hat Hatush, Shebaniah Maluk, Harum, Meramoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Genethon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Mejamin, Maaziah, Bilgai, and Shemaiah. These were the priests. The Levites, Jeshua, the son of Azaniah, Beniu, the sons of Hanadat and Cadmiel, the brethren of Shebaniah, Hodijah, Kalida, Peliah, Hanan, Micah, Rehab, Rehab, Hajabiah, Zakur, Jerobiah, Jebaniah, Hadijah, Bani, and Benini, and the leaders of the people, Parash, Pahath, Moab, Elam, Zatubani, Buni, Asgad, Bebai, Adonijah, Bigbai, Aden, Eider, 
Hezekiah Azur, Harija, Hashum Bezai, Harif Anathoth, Nebai, Magpiash, Meshulam, Hezir, Meshezabel, Zarak, Jadua, Palataya, Hanan, Ananiah, Hoshea, Hanaya, Hashub, Halosheth, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Hash, Hashabna, Messiah, Alija, Hanan, Anan, Maluk, Harim, and Baina. Now the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the cake keepers, the singers, and the Nethanim, all of those who had separated themselves from the peoples of the lands of the, the to the Lord of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone who had knowledge and understanding, these joined with their brethren, the nobles, and entered into, into a cursing and oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our God and his ordinances and his statutes. We would not give our daughters as wives to the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. If the peoples of the land brought wares of any grain to sell on the Sabbath day, we would not buy them from them on the Sabbath or on a holy day. And we would forgo the seventh year's produce and the exacting of every debt. Also, we made ordinances for ourselves to exact from ourselves yearly one-third of a shekel of service to the house of God for the showbread, for the regular grain offering, for the regular burnt offering on the Sabbath, the new moons, and the set feasts, for the holy things, for the sin of offerings to make atonement for Israel, and all the work of the house of our God. We cast lots among the priests, the Levites, and the people for bringing the wood offering into the house of our God according to our father's houses at the appointed times year by year to burn on the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law. And we made ordinances to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all fruits from all trees year by year to the house of the Lord to bring the firstborn of our sons and our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstborn of our herds and our flocks to the house of our God, to the priests who minister in the house of our God, to bring the first fruits of dough and our our offerings, the fruit from all kinds of trees, the new wine and oil to the priests, to the storerooms of the house of God, and to bring the tithes of our land to the Levites, for the Levites should receive the tithes in all our farming communities. And the priests, the descendants of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites receive these tithes. And the Levites shall bring up a tenth of the tithes to the house of our God, to the rooms of the storehouse. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the grain of a new wine and new oil to the shore rooms where the articles of the sanctuary are, where the priests who minister and the gay keepers and the singers are. We will not neglect the house of our God. Nehemiah chapter 11. Now the leaders of the people dwelt at Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one of the ten to dwell in Jerusalem the holy city, and nine tenths were to dwell in other cities. And the people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell in Jerusalem. These are the heads of the province who dwelt in Jerusalem, but the cities of Judah, everyone dwelt in his own possession in their cities, Israelites, priests, Levites, Nethanim, and the descendants of Solomon's servants. Also in Jerusalem dwelt some of the children of Judah and of the children of Benjamin. The children of Judah, Athiah the son of Uzziah, 
the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, the, and the children of Perez, the and Maaseiah, the son of Baruch, the son of Kohose, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Jorirab, the son of Zechariah, the son of Shiloni, and the sons of Perez who dwelt in Jerusalem were 468 valiant men. And these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Padiah, the son of Koliah, the son of Maesiah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Jeshiah, the son of Gabai, and Salai, 928. Joel, the son of Zikri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Senuya, was the second over the city. Of the priest Jed Jediah, the son of Jorib and Jachin, Sariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Mariah, the son of Ahitub, was the leader of the house of God. Their brethren who did their work of the house were 822. And Adiah, the son of Jero Jeroham, the son of Peliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malkijah, and his brethren, heads of the house of the father's houses, were 242. And Amashai, the son of Azarel, the son of Az Azai, the son of Mishelimoth, the son of Immer, and their brethren, mighty men of valor were 128. Their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of one of the great men. Also of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, the, the Sebedai, and Josabet, of the heads of the Levites had the oversight of the business outside of the house. Medaniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the leader who began the Thanksgiving prayer. Bakbukia, the second the second among his brethren, and Abda, the son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jejuthum, all the Levites in the holy city were 284. Moreover, the gatekeepers, Akub and Talmud, and their brethren who kept the gates were 172. And the rest of Israel, of the priests and Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, everyone in their inheritance, in his inheritance. But the Nethanim dwelt in Ophel, and Ziha and Gipha were over the Nethanim. Also, the overseer of the Levites at, at Jerusalem was Uzi, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Madaniah, the son of Micah, the son of Asaph, the son of the singers in charge of the service of the house. For it was the king's command concerning that the, that a certain portion should be singers and a quarter day by day. Pethahiah, the son of Meshazabel, of the children of Zerah, the one of Ju the son of Judah, was the king's deputy in all manage concerning the people. <coughs> and as for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt in Kirjar Kirjath Arba and its villages, Debon and its villages, just Jacob Zeal and its villages, in Jeshua Molad, Molada, Beth Paled, Hazar Shaul, and Beersheba and its villages, in Ziklag and Mekona and its villages, and in Rimon, Zora, Jarmuth, Zanoa, Adulam and their villages, in Lashish and its villages, in Azika and its villages, they dwelt from Beersheba to the valley of Hinan. Also the children of Benjamin from Giba dwelt in Mikmash, Aegea, Bethel, and their villages in Anathah, 
Nob and Anaya in Hazor Rama Gitiam in Hadib Zebo Zeboim Nabalat in Lad Ono and the Valley of Craftsmen. Some of the Judean divisions of Levites were with in Benjamin. Nehemiah chapter 12. Now these are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, the son of Sheltiel and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechemiah, Rehum, Meredath, Edo, Genethoi, Abijah, Mijamin, Madia, Bilga, Shemaiah, Jorab, Jediah, Salu, Amak, Hilkai, and Jedediah. These were the heads of the priests of their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites were Jeshua, Binui, Kedmiel, Sherebith, Judah, and Madaniah, who led the thanksgiving psalms. He and his brethren. Also, Bagbukia and Uni, their brethren, stood across from them in their duties. Jeshua begot Joachim, Joachim begot Eliashib, Eliasha begot Joida, Joida begot Jonathan, Jonathan begot Jadua. Then in the days of Joachim, the priests of the heads of the houses were of Sariah, Mariah, and Jeremiah, Haniah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah Jehonam of Maliku Jonathan of Shebaniah Joseph of Haram Anna of Mariah Helkai of Edo Zechariah of Ginyan Ginethan Meshulam of Abijah Zaki Zikri the son of Minjamin of Madaya Piltai of Bilga Shamua of Shamia Jonathan of Joirab, Joirab, Marinai, of Jeriah, Uzi, of Salai, Kalai, of Amak, Eber, of Hilkai, Hashabiah, and Ajadiah, Nathaniel. During the reign of Darius the Persian, a record was also kept of the Levites and priests who had been heads of their father's houses in the days of Eliashib, Joida, Johanan, and Jadua the sons of Levi, the heads of their father's houses. And so these days of Je Johathan, the son of Eliusha, were written in the book of the Chronicles. And the heads of the Levites were Hashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, the son of Cadmiah, with their brothers across from them, and praise to praise and give thanks, group alternating with group, according to the command of David, the man of God, Matthiah, Madaniah, Bakubia, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, and Jacob were gatekeepers keeping the, the watch of the storerooms of their gates. These lived in three days of, in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, in the days of Nehemiah, the governor. And of Ezra the priest described. Now, at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings and singing, with cymbals and string instruments and harps. And the sons of the singers gathered together from the countryside around Jerusalem from the villages to the Nerophathites, from the house of Gilhagal, and from the fields of Giba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built themselves villages all around Jerusalem. Then the priests of, and the Levites purified themselves and purified the people in the gates and the wall. So I brought the leaders of Judah up on the wall and appointed two large Thanksgiving choirs, One went to the right hand of the wall towards the refuse gate. After them went Haziah and half of the leaders of Judah. 
and Azariah, Ezra, Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah, and some of the priests' sons with trumpets. Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Madaniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zakur, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah, Azarel, Melilai, Gilalai, Mai, Nathanael, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David and the men of God. And Ezra the scribe went before them. By the fountain gate in front of them, they went up the stairs of the city of David in the stairway of the wall beyond the house of David as far as the water gate. Eastward, the other Thanksgiving choir went opposite way. And I was behind them with half of the people on the wall, going past the tower of the ovens as far as the broad wall and above the gate of Ephraim and above the old gate above the fish gate, the tower of Hananel, the tower of hundred, as far as the sheep gate, and they stopped by the gate of the prison. So the two thanksgiving choirs stood in the house of God. Likewise, I and the half of the rulers with me, and the priest Eliakim, Messiah, Minjamin, Mekia, Elionai, Zechariah, and Hananiah, with trumpets, also Messiah, Shemaiah, and Eliezer, Uzi, Jehohanan, Malkijah, Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loudly with Jeruziah, the director. Also the day that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and the children also rejoiced so that they, the, the joy of Jerusalem was heard afar off. At the same time, some were appointed over the rooms of the storehouses for the offerings, the first fruits, and the tithes to gather into them, them from the fields of the cities the portions specified by the law of the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and Levites who, mis, who ministered. Both the singers and the keeper, gatekeepers kept the charge of their God and the charge of the purification according to the command of David and Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old, there were chiefs and singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel, in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave portions for the singers and the gatekeepers a portion for each day. And they consecrated the holy things for the Levites, and the Levites consecrated them for the children of Aaron. Nehemiah chapter 13. On that day, they read from the book of Moses in the hearing of the people, and it was found written in no, that no Ammonite or Moabite shall ever come into the assembly of God, because they had not met the children of Israel with bread and water but hire Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. So it was when they had heard the law that they separated all the mixed multitude from Israel. Now before this, Eliashib, the priest having authority over the storerooms of the house of our God, was allied with Tobiah. And he had prepared for him a large room where previously they had stored the grain offerings the frankincense, the articles of the tithes of grain, the new wine and oil, which were commanded to be given to the Levites and the singers and gatekeepers and their offerings for the priests. But during all this, I was not in Jerusalem for in thirty second, for in the thirty second year of Artaxerxes, the uh, king of Babylon, I had returned to the king. Then after certain days I obtained leave from the king and came to Jerusalem and discovered the evil of Eliashib had done to Tobiah in preparing a room for him in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me bitterly. Therefore, I threw all the household goods of Tobiah out of the room. Then I commanded them to cleanse the rooms and I brought back into the temple the articles of the house of God with a grain offering and, a fran and frankincense. I also realized that the portions 
for the Levites had not been given them for for each of the Levites and the singers had, had did the work had gone back into his field so I contended with the rulers and said why is the house of God forsaken and I gathered them together in their in their place then old Judah brought the tithe of the grain and the new wine and the the soil of the storehouse and I appointed its treasures over the storehouse Shalomai the priest of Zadok the scribe and the Levites Padiah next to them was Hanan and the son of Zakur the son of Madaniah for they were considered faithful and their task was to distribute to their brethren remember me oh my God concerning this do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God for its services. In those days, I saw people in Judah tread, treading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and loading donkeys with wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the, on the Sabbath day. And I warned them about the day on which they were selling prov provisions. Menatir dwelt there also, brought in fish of all kinds of goods and sold them on the Sabbath to the children of Judah in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said to them, what evil thing is this that you do by which you profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers do thus and did not our God bring all his disaster on us and on the city? Yet you bring added wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. So it was at the gates of Jerusalem as it began to be dark before the Sabbath that I commanded the gates to be shut and charged that they must not be opened until after the Sabbath. Then I posted some of my servants at the gates so that no burdens will be brought in on the Sabbath day. Now the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares lodged outside Jerusalem once or twice. Then I warned them and said to them, Why do you spend the night around the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. I will lay hands on you. <coughs> Nehemiah 13.21 Nehemiah thirteen twenty one. From that time on, they came no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites, and they should cleanse themselves, and they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O God, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. In those days, I also saw Jews who had married women of Ashad, Ammon, and Moab, and half of their children spoke the language of Ashad and could not speak the language of Judah, but spoke according to the language of one of the other people. So I contended with them and cursed them, struck them, struck some of them, and pulled out their hair and made them swear by God saying, You shall not give your daughters as wives to their sons, nor take the daughters for your sons as you, or yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? And yet among the nations there was, no, there was no king like him, who was beloved by his God. And God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, pagan women caused even him to sin. Shall we then hear... Should we then hear of you doing all this great evil, transgressing against our God by marrying pagan women? And one of the sons of Joida, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was a son-in-law to Sambalat the Haradine. Therefore I drove him from me. Remember them, O oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them of everything. Pagan. I also assigned duties to the priests and the Levites, each of his service, 
and to bring in the wood offering and the first fruits at appointed times. Remember me, O oh my God, for good. Father God, this morning I ask you for a blessing. I ask you for a special blessing for all the people that, even though we're all sinners and we make a lot of mistakes, for the people that are trying their very best to do the right thing, to bring you honor, to bring honor to your house, to your people, to the land. I ask you for a blessing over the people of all countries. Not just the United States, but the people in all countries and all areas of this world who are honoring you, honoring your name, honoring the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. I ask you, Father, for a blessing over the churches and the churches that are doing the right thing and the pastors that are standing up against those that are bringing in worldly things into the churches. I ask you, Father, for pastors and leaders and ministers of all kinds and walks that they stay focused on you on the word of the bible every single word in the bible that they focus on jesus as our lord and savior and they remind themselves that the gospel the gospel is what changes the gospel is what changes people changes nations changes hearts changes minds and makes people walk righteously Father, let us be brave in sharing the gospel with the world. I ask for a special blessing for those that are going through hard times, that they feel your hand upon them and that they know that you bring them relief. Father, I thank you. I thank you for loving us the way you do, for blessing us the way you do, for giving us the ability to do things right. I pray, Father, that I bring you honor always and that I don't do things that dishonor you in any way. Father, you know our needs. You know what we lack and you know what we have plenty of that we can give others. Remind us to share our talents with the world and to continue doing the right thing and walking righteously in Jesus' mighty name, Father. I lift you up. I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.